Hey everybody, this is Ben with devslopes.com. After building our project and watching it run for a little bit and cleaning up all of those other issues that we had, there are two more issues with our game, little bug fixes that need to take place, but we don't really notice them until they're on a physical device. The first one and the most prominent one is the color of the buildings after they've been struck. Now in our actual gameplay, when we were in the editor, the colors were all right. They came back the same color as the paintball. And if you pay close attention, the paintball itself coming from the tank is not one of the colors that we selected. Well, that's because we forgot to do something really important. One of the great things about Unity is that it includes only what you use for the game. And it does that by automatically detecting everything that's assigned throughout your project. However, what it can't do is think for us in terms of what shaders we're going to need. And since it couldn't detect the shaders that we were changing the materials of the buildings to and the material that's on the paintball, we need to make sure that we go and include that. Otherwise, they won't exist in the final project which is why everything looks so funky. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Go up to the edit tab on the navigation bar. And we're going to go all the way down to project settings. And then we're going to go to graphics. Now over here, you'll notice that we've got all kinds of graphic settings. We've got settings for the camera, a scriptable render pipeline settings option. But we're going to leave all of that alone scroll down to this spot where it says always include shaders. And this is a list of shaders that are going to be included with your project no matter what. So let's change this to 11. Because we're going to need to add two shaders to this list. And how do we know what we need to add? Well, if I head back over to the script for the collision handling for the buildings, the Mapbox Collision Manager, and we go down, we've got two shaders that we go looking for. The first one is Color, and the second is Specular. So we're going to need a shader of each of these types for Unity to have any idea what we're looking for. So back here in the Unity Editor, for Element 9, we are going to go and select one of the shaders. We're going to look for specular and it's going to give us a bunch of options that we can look through and figure out which one we want but i'm just going to be looking for the legacy shaders slash specular it's all by itself right there and it should look like that legacy shaders slash specular the second one that we're going to look for so the element in slot 10 is going to be color, unlit, done, cool. Now when you build your project, the buildings should all be the right color, the paintballs should be the correct color as well, and everything should be working on that front. The other thing we need to fix is the sound. And I'm talking about one sound in particular. If we open our scripts and go into the collision handlers, we were just dealing with the Mapbox Collision Manager, now we want the Collision Audio Manager. So we're going to double click on the Collision Audio Manager to open it up in our IDE. And the error that we're having is when this is assigned, it's having a hard time finding a component of type audio source because by default, when these are created, it's disabled. And we saw a warning message as the game was running every time a building had something collide with it. And this is really an easy fix. There are a whole bunch of different ways that we could approach this. But the way that we're going to want to do this is we are going to want to access the main camera's audio manager or the main camera's audio source. The reason for that is we want to make sure that the splat is abundantly apparent to the player. And we want to make sure the audio source is always there. So while we could go and add a component audio source to all of these and then go in and make sure it's enabled and handle it that way, it's a lot cleaner 
if we just change this from audio source equals get component audio source to main camera or sorry camera dot main dot get component of type audio source and that should be a capital G and there we go now we're not going to have a problem so back in unity and with that we're just going to save our project and that should be it other than the student challenges that we left for you that should be all the bugs everything there and we shouldn't have any more problems running our project so again great job following along and i hope you enjoy your game and take it and really work on it and make it your own and expand this into something even more amazing this is ben with devslopes.com and we'll see you next time